everyone, and welcome back to a very special episode of Jurassic World Alive, where, as you can see in the top of the screen, we've done it. We, I, I went all out, you know, I put my whole life savings into this game, and I thought, why not we get, like, 99 million bucks? Because, why not, right? Who needs, like, life and money? <laughs> no, actually, this is, funnily enough, I know some of you might have believed that, um, this is a build. Now, this game isn't, oh, this build isn't out yet. And Ludio have been kind enough to give me the opportunity to showcase uh, this build. So, we're going to have a look at everything that's new. And there is a lot that's new. Because if we go in to our dinosaur collection, you're about to see all new dinosaurs. We have a new Apex, a new Unique, a new Legendary, and three new Epic Dinosaurs. Now, I've already seen that people have said to me a new hybrid coming. And that is this. Well, uh, this is one of the ingredients. I know there's always just take it. It's like, oh, we're going to see everything. Don't worry, guys. We're going to see everything. So, first off, we have this. This is Beta. It'll, a completely new animation, I think. Beta, hello. Oh, no. It looks like a scaled down raptor. Okay, never mind. It's just a scaled down raptor. Sweet. So, Beta has 5% crit chance, 133 base speed. 145 attack and 2,917 health. It's really quick, but it's not the best at everything else. Let's have a look at its moves, shall we? So evasive strike. Okay, impact and run we've seen. And this is a new move. So new, it doesn't even have an icon. Playful pounce. Self-cleanse. You increase your speed by 20% uh, for two attacks, two turns. 50% uh, chance to dodge one attack for one turn. And you do like a, like it's it is it's a pounce basically. You also have a cower. So when you swap in, uh, you give yourself 75% chance to dodge an incoming attack, but you're unable to swap two turns. However, the target also has their attack reduced by 50%. Even if like this is now at level 30, I I don't see it really being used too much. Maybe it will be. Someone will probably prove me wrong because I'll just put loads of speed in it. It'll be the fastest thing. It's, as far as I can see, there's no priority. You really need that. It's immune to speed increase, uh, decrease. It's immune to swap prevention and a little bit immune to reduce damage. It's it's not the best. A four foot baby raptor, but growing fast. Beta is an exact clone of her mother, Blue. Oh, ho, ho. spoilers. Still haven't seen the movie. Right, okay. So moving on to um, the micro raptor. Actually, I thought we already had this in the game. But no, we haven't even had a Micro Raptor in it yet. 50% uh, chance to crit. It's actually way faster. 136 speed. Oh, isn't a Raptor like 131? Damn, that it was, so it could be the fastest thing in the game. Like, like, because we have, we could just boost this all the way. I don't even know. We have a lot of boosts. So 176 speed. Wow. Okay, the fastest thing in the game is that. Damn. No, nothing's outspeeding that. Unless it's got priority. And that's the thing. When it comes to speed, it's good if nothing has priority. Really good. But if something does, yeah, well, we'll see. So it's it's got the flock ability, which beta doesn't. So that 2,000 health is actually all right. Um, as long as it's not against something that can you target most things and or target all enemies and most things can actually. Uh, cutting strike, so cleanse damage over time. Could be good, especially for a flock creature. Precise double strike. Ta uh, opponent with positive effects. Attack 1,337 two times. So... It's not the first time a creature's had that move. And that's very good against other flocks. Because it'll, it'll take a hit and kill one. But then another hit will come through and kill another one. Uh, distract triple strike. Oh my god. So it would hit three times. It doesn't even matter if it's lost other ones. It hits three times. <gasps> oh, that's dangerous. Wing beat. So when an opponent swaps, uh, you increase your critical hedge by chance by 100%. Uh, for one attack and two turns and increase speed by 20%. All right, so you kind of want them to swap out, really. Um, and, oh, the taunt's not really needed. Render resistance good and swap prevention's all right. The tiny dromosaur and microraptor sports a wing of each of its four limbs. The unique adaptations assist this prehistoric uh, biplane in powered flight and gliding between tree drops. That's good, because uh, for a long time, people didn't think they could actually do powered flight. They could just glide, but they can. I think it's been proven by some sort of paper, something like that. Okay, that's very fast. And here we go. Friggin' Atrociraptor. Wasn't even in Jurassic World Evolution 2, but here it is in Jurassic World Live. It's only one, though. And it is Ghost. If blue's anything to go by, we probably won't. Ghost is probably like the equivalent of blue. So we'll not get like Tiger or what the other ones were. 
but we'll we'll probably get go. So 30, 130 speed, 10% uh, crit chance. So even a bit slower than a Velociraptor. Probably has a lot of attack. Cautious Strike, always a good one. Very good with Indoraptor. Fierce Impact, and then B B Berserk Decimation. Delayed one, but you cleanse vulnerable. Sacrifice 34% of your health. However, you target low HP, remove shields, and attack does 2.5 times damage and bypasses armor. It doesn't say anything about breaking shield. It just says bypassing armor. I'm assuming with that icon, it'll probably bypass shields as well. It'll break shield, bypass the armor. So you're sacrificing a lot and you do a lot of damage and you also go through cloak. It doesn't say that, but the icon shows it. I don't think they need to put everything in. Uh, so vulnerable and speed decrease. Okay. It's a last ditch attempt. I mean, you need to stay in. It's no revenge on this. You need to stay in for one attack and, you know, then do it. So... Course, it'll probably be like a cautious strike to give yourself a little bit of a speed increase and a dodge and then go for Berserk Decimation. So we've seen those three and we've got the legendary, that being Segnoraptor. Whoa. So this is a hybrid between Therizinosaurus, so hey, Therizinosaurus actually got a hybrid, um, and the Microraptor. So this is going to be a hard one to get um, as soon as the new build comes out. So minimal speed up strike, always got 134 speed. Oh, actually, is that even quicker than Microraptor? I think it might be. Whoa, okay, well, anyway, that's, that's a quick one, man. Uh, cunning Ferocious Strike. So increase damage 50% for six attacks, three turns, cleanse damage over time. And then for the opponent, you reduce their attack uh, by 50% and their crit by 100% and remove damage and critical increase. Wow, okay, so it's like buff you and nerf everything from them. Distracting triple strike. Oh, this one's naughty. And of course, a rampage and run. And it does have a chance, like 75% chance. I'm pretty happy with it. It's basically 100%. If, if you do gets like stunned or swap prevented with this it's a bit like oh, well you know it might have happened but I'd, if it means that i get some percentage on other stats rather than 100 percent i'm okay with that 75 percent is good uh reduced damage is great damage over time is great stuns great swap prevention the only thing that could make it better is rend resistance but very few things have rend that are used in the meta at the moment the only thing is into taurus and even then you don't really see them too much, at least from what I remember. Maybe Andrew Tops or whatever it's called. And now on to the unique. And of course, we're going to do some battles with these. I want to have a mess around with the builds. So this one is actually, I'm kind of glad that I saw this because I have enough to level up the Targo or the, comps, the Tarbo Ganathus thing to level 28. But now I'm not going to do that. I'm going to now cheekily request it in my alliance for a bit <laughs> just so I can get this thing unlocked. Um, so 131 speed, so pretty decent. Uh, it does get the flock ability, which is what beta was really lacking. But it also gains like 2,000 extra health in comparison to uh, beta. And its attack is increased, so it's it's better all over the board. Uh, actually, it's dropped a little bit in speed, but it's got 30% crit chance, which is very good. So Alert Surge is the main reason, or one of the reasons, one of the two reasons why you have Tarbogonathus. Because it's just, you know, you get a dodge if you're threatened, and it's priority, and you're probably going to get a crit. Because, let's be honest, you've got a high crit chance. Um, Alert Shattering Impact. So, uh, just like the Tarbo, Tarbo whatever it is, you gain health if you're threatened. But the thing is, with, with Tarbo, you need to be below 50% health. It's not enough to lose one compy. You need to lose two compies. And at that point, you need to be quicker. And they also need to not have a priority move. So, yeah, it, it's it's kind of a hit and miss with that. Rampage of Run, always good. And it also has Playful Pounce, which is the same one that uh, Beta had. So basically, it has everything. The, the top two moves are what Tarbo has. And I think the bottom two moves are what... Beta has? Maybe not right. Not even Rampage and Run, actually. Um, reinforcing Cower. Ooh, it's even better, I think. So when they swap, you get a 70% chance to dodge, 66% of damage, so basically a normal dodge. You also rally heal, and then the target, highest damage, reduced damage by 50%. So that's... Oh, sorry, that's if you swap in. So you gain health, gain a dodge, and then you reduce their attack. If they swap out, that's the tar, but that's what you want. Impact on escape goes through armor, and you do damage. It could also work against you if it's like an Ankylos Lux, and they deliberately do that so they can get a hit off on you to counter it. But, you know, used in the right circumstance, it's very good. Uh, taunt, 100%, meh. Rend, 33, yeah, better than nothing. Reduce damage, perfect. Re uh, speed decrease, perfect. Vulnerable, meh. Uh, very good. Reduce damage and speed. If you get 100% resistance to both of those... You're on to a winner. Comsoraptor. Okay. Have been observed producing 
uh, a range of communicative chirps and growls, or you could say annoying, uh, that assist them in highly coordinated hunts. Some specialists believe each flock may even be capable of producing its own unique communicative system. Ooh, a bit like a pod of orcas. Right, okay, so decent. Um, could probably be used. Those moves, I wouldn't be surprised if... As soon as this comes out, top players are like, yeah, they've already got the inside scoop. And finally, Apex. We have the Tyranno Valkyrie or Tyranno Kiri. Tyranno Kiri. Now, this isn't a fused. I was expecting to see the Indominemis or something like that. Actually, I put in, put in the poll. I put up who voted for what hybrid and there was 22,000 votes. That's a lot of votes. And like 70% of them were Indonemus. So, yeah, it, <laughs> there you go. Shows that it's what the people want or it's just what my fans wanted anyway. Uh, so, a level 30, 128 speed, very quick. 20% uh, armor, very good. And 10% crit chance. Yeah, I'm not fussed. It's better. It's twice as better than what's regular, which is 5%. Um, it's health and attack. Okay, it's a wild card. So you can build it for whatever you want, really. That's what they're saying. So definite strike, regular. Goes through uh, shield and dodge. So if you just want to get a hit off, go for it. And armor. Um, and then this is a new one. Dispersed raking impact. You cleanse yourself. You target all opponents. You remove cloak and dodge and attack. So really, you get that right off the bat. And there'd be no reason why you wouldn't go for that. If you're in the Taurus... I think its days might be numbered now. It's got too many, like, good counters for it. So, Merciless Alert. You can use it right off the bat. Uh, HP over yada yada. Lowest HP. So, you do basically twice or th one and a half damage. Bypassing armor. You do damage over time uh, of targets max HP for three turns. 50%. So, it's not too much of a bleed. But if you're threatened, you do less damage. But your damage over time increases by 30% for three turns so then it's good so if you want to use it as an attack make sure you got full health if you want to use it as a bleed make sure you're below half health fairly fairly easy okay and then alert squall <laughs> okay so if you're above half your health you increase your speed and critical chance by 50 percent and again you can use this right off the bat um for four attacks in two turns you target the lowest hp and you automatic swap Oh, so you don't do any damage? If you're threatened, blow half health. You increase your speed by 20% for four turns. Uh, sorry, four attacks, two turns. You heal yourself. And then you automatic swap. Oh, hold on. No, you don't swap yourself. You swap the target. Oh, that's the first time we've ever had a, a creature in the game force you to swap i mean i guess it's i guess we, we should have been expecting that it's always been whether you choose to swap right but you know if, if the opponent's locked down then you could do this and just get a buff uh, to yourself or you can just force them out maybe they want to set up you know oh that's it oh oh just to, uh, again well, it's a wild card now wow okay so also if you swap in you give yourself 50% increase to uh, your damage for two turns, lasting two turns. But you're unable to swap for two turns, something we've come to see. Uh, Robbing Wing also comes in if you swap, I think. Oh, that's a passive, never mind. So, if you're hit by something, you increase your speed by 20% for two attacks in one turn. You gain a shield for 50% for one attack one turn. But also the attacker... Um, has something. They, their speed's reduced by 20% uh, for two attacks in one turn and removes all the shield. Ooh. Ankylos Lux will lose its shield. And then you've got attacks that go through armor and bleed. So this is great for Ankylos Lux for taking on. Um, and then if the opponent swaps out, you've got total immunity on escape. So 100% chance to dodge an attack. Sorry, 75% shield for one attack one turn. And also, 100% resistant to all negative status effects. So basically, if an opponent swaps, you get a dodge. You also get a shield. So whatever comes in, even if it breaks your shield, um, it doesn't even matter. So basically, what swaps in needs to break your shield and get rid of dodge, which isn't going to happen. The only thing that could do that is pro Ceratomimus with a nullifying swap in. But even then, nobody uses that. Um, and also... All negative effects, status effects, don't happen. So if you have something that swaps in and reduces their attack, like Referentum, doesn't work. Even, maybe even a stun. I mean, you've got a 75% chance to, you know, resist a stun anyway, but the stun's not going to work. Scorpius Rex, 
Gen 3, nothing. I mean, yeah, you get your crit, you also get your speed, but you don't get to reduce the attack. Whoa, this is, this is naughty. Okay. So, uh, and what could be interesting as well is Hydroboa stops people from swapping out. But if you use Alert Squall, you force it to swap out, meaning that you can get out next turn. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so stun 75% chance, 100% uh, swap prevention. Good. Uh, reduced damage. Very good. Damage over time. Very good. Speed decreased. Very Oh, it's good. Named after the Valkyrie of Norse myth. Patranokery means winged chooser. Watch out for this apex flyer slicing across the skies. It could be a harbinger of your end. Okay, so this thing, it's it's freaking killer, man. <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna be surprised if we see a lot of top players using Patrano Calorie or whatever it's called. And now that we're doing pay to win, we'll get it as well. <laughs> um and also this thing. There's definitely a lot of combos that you can do. So, without further ado, should we just see them in action? You know, at, at base. I'm kind of tempted, actually, to put some boosts on them. All right, that's it with 15 at level 30. So, 2,423. That seems deadly. Now, it's Merciless Alert does, like, 3,600 and goes through a lot. Um, it doesn't seem to be a big damage dealer. It just seems to be, like... This weird thing that can make you swap out, can make you, it can bleed you, but itself doesn't seem to go for too much damage. So, actually, what might be really good for it is just to boost its speed and boost its health. Because it's not going to do too much damage. What it is going to do is bleed you, and that's what's going to do damage. Yeah, putting on some, like, 7,520 health. Oh, that's naughty. That is naughty. I like it, though. I like it. All right, let's do some battles. I'm expecting them to be, you know, bots because we obviously are on a test build and will not be able to do battles against real people. Oh, and here we are in Nublar Shores. Of course we are. Of course we are. We have to. We have to. Right, what do I get? Ooh, okay. All new creatures. Oh, what should we go for? I think I maxed out the speed on this thing. So I wanted to see what it's like, like 176,000 speed or something. Oh, okay. So these are boosted dinosaurs. Okay. So, mm, I never face up against the turtle, which is interesting. So, uh, you know, we'll go for a double hit. Precise double strike. That'll be interesting. Don't mind me. Guys gotta eat, right? <laughs> oh, okay. So, oh, it does show you how much damage it does all together. Oh, he's swapping. Oh, we get the wing beat then. All right, okay. What's he going to do? Oh, it's Utaranex. Oh, yes. We need to see what Utaranex is like. <gasps> okay. Oh. Okay. Wait, there's a swap in attack? Oh, the phone. What? That's you? I need to check that out. Damn. Okay, so one hit. Two hit. And three hit. Oh, that is deadly. That is so deadly. So, Utaranix. Distracting impact and run. <gasps> Stunning rampage and run. What the frick? Instant, st instant stunning strike right off the bat. No cooldown. Oh, my God. That is vicious. And now, because it's faster, it could go for its distracting impact and run. Does that target all enemies? Oh, highest damage. Okay, so it doesn't. Right, um... Playful Pounce. I want to see a Playful Pounce. I want to see a Playful Pounce. Okay, a Cunning Strike. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, you... You Taranix, baby! Oh, we need to check out the other one, like Trichosaur and stuff. Because they're gonna have completely new things. Oh, wow. I'm excited. I'm excited to see how this goes. Okay, we're super quick. Uh, do we have this one? Yeah, we could do a swap out to that. Or we could just do armor. Yeah, we'll do the armor breaking. Reduces attack. Why not? Oh, look at them. So cute. Persistent, ferocious attack. He has a dig in, I suppose. Hmm. Okay, we'll go for the swap. We'll go for a swap. Hey, and then trust her. Is it going to do the raptor coming? Like, yeah, there it is. Oh, this looks good. This looks good. Oh, a deal. Uh, it's kind of actually very good. Uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to survive. <laughs> well, I'll give it a shot. So we have this one. And then we also have the sacrifice. So he gets the crit. Oh, but we survive. Sweet. Okay. Do we get to do it? Oh, no. Don't come in. Oh, you buggy. Oh, is that a passive? I think that's a passive. 
So now that I've got less than 34%, I... Oh, no, I, I don't. I will always have one health. Oh, ow. Okay, never mind. That is deadly. You need to kill that thing in one hit. And beta, go little beta. You got it, buddy. Oh, you have it right off the bat. Oh, distracting impact. How much damage? You don't have too much health, beta. Oh, no, beta. Oh, runs away. <laughs> you don't actually kill beta. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's <laughs> cry and run away. That was amazing. I love that. Okay. Okay, I completely forgot about the other dinosaurs that were getting buffs. Like Dino Dinochirus as well was getting one. Let's have a look. Right, Trichosaur was getting a change. 35% armor. I don't know if anything's too different here. So it's got its fierce devouring cleanse, which it didn't have before, but now it's getting some health back. Resilience the same. Defense shattering is the same. Instant invincibility is still the same. Medium counter. And it's only got vulnerable. <laughs> That is horrible for a unique only the vulnerable. Yeah, I don't I don't see it. I don't see Trichosaurus getting any new play. I really don't. But we also have this. Oh my god, this is amazing. You know what I'm gonna do, actually? I'm going to log in to Jurassic World Alive on my phone and give it the same build that I've got, and I'll tell you the difference. Okay, well, first off, we need to get it to level 30, don't we? That might help. All right, never mind. It has the same. <laughs> it's just the moves that have changed. So the rampage and run that you normally have still has the same cooldown and delay, um, except now you have a 100% chance to stun them, which is great. Um, the distracting impact is still there, except for now it's also got... <laughs> It's also got a swap out for it. And the instant stunning strike has, uh, it doesn't have a cooldown or a delay. It usually had a delay of one and had a 75% chance of stun, which it still does. That is some amazing buffs for this guy. There you are, Dilo. Let's see what you've got. All right, so tough group cunning strike. Interesting. Uh, so what's the difference there? It targets all opponents. Uh, reduce critical chance by 100% and reduce damage by 50%. Okay, seems normal. Accelerating team heal. Okay, so normally it was just like a lesser group heal, but now you heal everybody, but then you also give them a speed increase for two turns. And then the emergency heal. So you cleanse and heal everybody for 2,500, like whatever that is, like an emergency for everybody, I'm assuming. And you also reduce damage of the target but by 25% for two attacks and two turns, and it gains a priority. Revenge Cunning Rampage seems to be different. Okay, there might be a little bit difference there with Revenge. Um, but the Dart Encounter is new. Now, never had a passive attack, so I think that's why they were saying use it more than Terra Moloch, because yeah, Terra Moloch gives you the speed increase, but now this guy gives you the speed increase with a heal, so in one turn, that's going to really speed up some of the uh, raids. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good against the damage of time. It can't be stunned. And also the counter. Oh, that's good. All right, here we go. I'll put Utaranex back in the team because I kind of want to test that out. Even with, well, it's the boost that I put on it. Okay, right. So what does it look like if we just start out with it, right? It's like out first. It's got the same build that I have on it. Let's have a see. So right off the bat, I, ooh, it's cool down for the distracting. That's interesting. So if something's got no resistance to stun, a bit like Anklos looks, I could go for that if I wanted to. I think in this this regard, it's probably better to do this. Okay, okay, not bad. Oh, it goes through armor. That's fine, that's fine. And then distracting impact. A good job. I've got some sort of resistance. There's 75% resistance on it. Okay, I think I'm still quicker. And now I have a choice. I could either do loads of damage, stun and get out, or... I can do not as much damage, but then reduce his attack for four turns. Um, you know, we may as well just go for the huge. Oh, oh, he's got his own one. Does it have a, oh, and also has a swap in resilient strike. I forgot about that. That's completely new. Look at him. He doesn't even know what to do. He's like, oh. <laughs> but now, oh, resist the stun and oh, a giant hit. And you get the heck out of there. Wow. Just the fact that you can swap in with this. Also, yeah, everything's got to swap in. Everything has something cool going on. Oh, so it gets a dodge and also reduces its attack and rallies every time you swap it. Oh, 
You thought the swapping meta was bad. Oh, it just got worse. <laughs> because it's so prevalent uh, in this game now. Have you changed at all? I don't think you have. Nah, I don't think you have. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, God. Ooh, we may as well just go for a, a fast hit. Now that it's everywhere and everyone's got some of the swap or does something, that new apex, the pterodactyl apex, is going to be even more necessary. All right, then. Go on. Go for it. Go for it, big hit. But I'm going to get out. And then if I wanted to, I could swap back in, get rally off, get a dodge, distract them a little bit. Ooh, the Segno Raptor. Oh, yes. Oh, really? We're going to use it against that? <laughs> Okay, I'm not even boosted and I'm faster than it. Wow, okay. Let's try this thing. Oh, you do do damage. Oh, attack. There it is. Okay. So, right. So you go for the side flap. Right, let's see. It's, you know, most things do this. They can kind of set up a little bit, increase and stuff. So this can run in, uh, can running, cunning, ferocious strike. So I gain, I reduce all of his stuff. I do some damage. Yeah, I guess it's all right. I mean, this probably isn't the best type matchup you really want, but this thing is the two. Oh, sorry, three hits. Is it triple? Oh, it is the triple. Oh, everything's got the they swap out. Oh. Oh, this is going to be good. How much damage does this do? The triple hit. That bam, bam, bam. Now, it makes sense because you claw it through. Wait. It's, it's dead, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. Don't, don't have to wait for the other hits. I'm gone. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, this is really going to change up the meta. I'm looking forward to seeing, like, what or how people build and how they build around their teams. With them. This is going to be awesome. But I still want to check out the Tyranodon Apex. Tyranodon, you got this? Come on, Tyranodon. Yes, there it is. Okay, what do we do with this? Do we put it out first? Like, what is it swapping? It's swapping. Uh, it gets feroc ferocity. Okay, so actually, if you swap it in, it gets more dangerous. Ah, okay, okay. Well, we could, we could put out the compies out first. I think that's fine. An Indoraptor. Okay, because we can swap into it and give it its attack increase. Um, should we go for a double hit? Yeah, let's try it and see. No crit chance. That's fine. Okay. All right, here we go. Get some speed. Get some dodge. Cleanse. Oh, Playful Pants is really good. If you go second, it doesn't make a difference. You cleanse everything. Okay, and then, of course, Interruptor's ability. It's not new in this update, but it is relatively new. And then we just go for the Rampage and run, right? Yeah, go for the Rampage and run. A clean swap into the new Tyranodon. Here it comes! Oh! Oh, no sound? Okay. Did it just break? What, what happened? Oh, it's just so silent without the uh, the squawks of the uh, compies. Right, enter Lania. Actually, does that have resistance to bleed? This is a really good test for it. So, oh, oh, okay, merciless alert. Look at that. Damn. Oh, oh, oh. Put speed on this thing. Oh, and that was without any bleed. Okay, okay. So, oh, where was the squall? Is this the squall? This must be alert squall. Okay, let's try this. So let's say an interrupt is going to set up, right? And it obviously did this, this time. But we squall it, we cleanse, we increase our speed, quick chance. And then it, we just get rid of it. And because it's swapping out, it actually alerts our shield. I mean, that's not a good thing to swap out to. But yet, wow. Wow, I didn't think about it that way. That because I force it to swap out, it then I get my, my boosts. <gasps> oh dangerous. I mean, this isn't a good good thing to go up against. Oh, it's swapping out. Okay, okay. My ferocity is... Is it still from the first swap in? No, it's not. I've got three things, but that's not none of the... Oh, we really wanted it to Doris. Really wanted it to Doris. But there is a cooldown of like three, so you can't keep spamming, you know, making them swap out. But whoa, this is something we need, man. Wow, and more creatures should be able to just swap you out, so you you, you won't be you won't be making a team based on swap in swaps out. Um, and oh, ooh, we could get a cloak, we could get a cloak, but let's go, let's go. You Taranix, so yeah, you get your pesky alert. This is brilliant. Now, if you have a fast you Taranix, even if an Indotaurus is out first, oh, I was gonna say we would have killed it there. 
That's a bugger. Because <laughs> we would have went through dodge and then done 2,000 damage right off the bat and made it vulnerable. And then if I was quicker, I possibly could go for the stun. And if it gets stunned, it's that's an editor shut down. I feel like it's going to go down the pecking order. Utaranex is, is went way up now. Is it? There's a part of me that's like, is that because of me? Did I do this because I've used Utaranix for a long, long time? And it's, oh. Oh yeah, 100% chance to stun. I mean, well, I don't know if it has a resistance. To, yes, it does, but it's 50%. Anyway. Wow, okay. That bird, man. That bird. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, a quick little overview. I say quick little. It was like half an hour of all the new things coming. Uh, I probably missed a few dinosaurs, but you know, that's the fun. You can explore them or be a nerd and read a forum. <laughs> we enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you kiddies later. Oh, bye-bye.